How is it going guys, today's episode features highly elusive and valuable US coins that make good premium at auctions. Really quick if you're first time on our channel, please hit subscribe and notification buttons below to get daily updates on coin prices. Starting with this beautifully toned 1938 Jefferson Nickel, graded at me stay 68 plus FS by PCGS. FS stands for full steps, term applied to a Jefferson 5 cent piece when 5 or 6 steps of Monticello are present. This first year Denver issue is highly sought after in high grade, but full steps examples are scarce, finer than MS66 and rare in MS68. This is a sole plus graded MS68 full steps coin at PCGS, making it the single finest certified at the service. Pristine lustrous surfaces yield dusky amber gold toning with iridescent wisps throughout. Delineation of 5 steps visible under close inspection. This splendid gem was sold for $33,600 on July 15, 2022. Here is a pretty cool looking error coin, 1971 S Eisenhower dollar. Overstruck on a San Francisco SA office medal. I'm sure most of you know how Eisenhower dollar looks like, but this is appearance of aforementioned San Francisco medal. A bronze San Francisco SA office medal was used as a host for this rare of metal Eisenhower dollar. Much of the undertype is evident, including the Department of Treasury, 1789 on obverse, and CAL on the reverse, west of the lowered wing. The orange, red, and lily color is pleasing and comprehensive. The host was slightly less in diameter than an Ike dollar demonstrated by outward metal flow on in God we trust and united, likely a unique copper ike of nearly full diameter and highly desirable as such. Moving on to this 1914D Lincoln and that means day 66 red. The 1914D is one of the premier keys to the Lincoln Sand series, boasting one of the lowest mintates in the set with less than 1.2 million coins struck. In fact, this early Denver Mint issue is considerably more challenging in high grades than more famous 1909 SVDB. The most mint state survivors show up in MS63 and MS64 in the brown and red and brown categories. Fully red coins are much scarcer, only a dozen are graded MS66 red at PCGS and NGC combined, with non numerically finer. This strongly struck premium gem features bold detail on Lincoln's hair and beard. The legends on both sides and reverse wheat stalks are similarly razor sharp. Satiny luster glows from finely textured copper orange surfaces. Only a few microscopic carbon spots are noted. Sold on August 24, 2022 for $72,000 at Heritage Auctions. Another Jefferson Nickel 1964 D5 cent with a repunched mint mark error. Grade at Miss Day 66 with FS501 designation by PCGS. PCGS has only attributed 8 examples of Cherry Pickers variety, which shows the meat mark repunch south. The repunching is clear with a loop, but may escape detection by unaided eye. This representative is tied with one other as the finest FS501 coin at PCGS. Each side is brilliant and satiny with slight reflectivity disc discerned in the fields. A few tiny marks are not bothersome. Although the steps of Monticello exhibit typical softness, this coin is otherwise well struck and pleasing. Sold on July 14, 2022 for $19,800. Here is 1969S Lincolnson with double diapers, graded at mid 64 with FS101 designation by PCGS. The die doubling is not quite as dramatic as it is on the 1955 double die scent, but 1969 S variety is significantly rarer. Whatever the true survival rate, the 1969 S double die scent is undeniably rare in all grades and full red examples are without objection. The most difficult to acquire. PCGS and NGSC combined list only a dozen red grading events. This near gem red example is within the condition senses of known examples. A sharp strike complements satiny copper orange luster, while a few flecks and minor marks serve as pedigree markers. I appeal is excellent. Sold on May 5, 2022 for $49,200 at Heritage Auctions. 
This is 1968 proof Roosevelt diamond PR68 cameo condition. What makes this coin valuable and rare is the absence of mint mark S denoting San Francisco mint. San Francisco mint took over a proof set production in 1968 after conclusion of special mint set experiment from 1965 to 1967. However, unlike the SMS coins, proof coins of 1968 were produced with mint marked dies. Thus, it's an error that some dimes were struck with the dies that lacked the appropriate S mint mark, which should have been applied at the engraving department in Philadelphia before the die was shipped to the west coast. Each side is pristine and starkly contrasted, yielding bright white and black contrast. Sold on July 14, 2022 for $22,200. I'm sure you'll like this one. 1937 D Buffalo Nickel at Miss Day 66, a very rare three-legged buffalo variety. The three-legged buffalo nickel is definitely a coin variety with the potential of capturing attention and aspirations of many collectors. 1937D three-legged buffalo nickel was created by a clashing of dies without the blank planchet between the verse and reverse dies. After the dies clashed, inexperienced mint employee by the name Mr. Young used an emery stick to try and polish off the clashing evidence instead of switching the dies which would have been more appropriate procedure. Due to the over-polishing of the dies, Mr. Young accidentally removed the details of the bison's front right leg from the reverse die. Therefore, any coins struck from the dies will be missing one of the bison's legs on the reverse design. This is how three-legged buffalo nickel came into existence. The current offering must be among the most eye-appealing of those coins. Lovely mint luster flows over amber olive surfaces that only show a single minor abrasion just below the Indian's hairline. Sold on August 24, 2022 for $30,000 at Heritage Auctions. I'm sure some of you clicked this video after seeing this relatively modern penny on a thumbnail. Presenting you 2001D Lincoln set milled with Roosevelt Time Reverse. Grade at Miss Day 65 read by PCGS. In numismatics, a mule is a coin or medal minted with a verse and reverse designs not normally seen on the same piece. This can be intentional or produced by an error. It mostly happens in those cases when coins have slightly different or same sizes, like penny and dime. Among the many mule possibilities in American numismatics, the Lincoln Cent Roosevelt Dime Mule is most likely to occur. The diameters for cent, which is 19 mm, and the dime, which is 18 mm are closed, and both types have high annual mintage of over a billion or more pieces. More likely than not, the three known 2001D cent dime mules were struck on the same day from the same mule die pair. On the present coin, the dime reverse has a broad rim with the three concentric levels, the inner and outer levels are raised, and the middle level is recessed. The wider rim on the reverse is due to the narrow diameter of the dime die. We trust is faint as in the first L in Liberty. The Lincoln bus truncation shows incompleteness of strike. These characteristics are also due to the smaller dime die. Sold on August 24, 2022 for $66,000 at Heritage Auctions. Here is another error Eisenhower dollar, 1972S dollar double struck both strikes off center. An off center coin is produced when the coin is struck albeit off center. Unlike a broad strike, the punch is not in the center of a coin but rather the edge. This results in a coin which is not in circular shape. In this proof coin, both strikes are approximately 10% of center toward 5 o'clock. Most of the legends are present, though the bottom of the 972 in the date, the top of Y in Liberty and the tops of America are absent. Evidence of the first strike is ample, since generous portions of Liberty and $1 remain from both strikes. The second strike was slightly south of the first strike relative to a verse. A broad, unstruck arc is centered at 10 o'clock. The virtually flawless surfaces are intricately struck and displayed delicate lavender toning. Sold on August 24, 2022 for $13,800 at Heritage Auctions. Thanks for watching guys, if you liked this video please hit thumbs up and subscription buttons below this video. Have a good one.